Welcome, this is another SOLIDWORKS feature in three minutes. Today we're looking at the sheet metal lofted bend feature. So we're on top plane. We're going to draw center rectangle and we're calling this rectangle 200 and we keep it square, 200 by 200. It's our first piece of a sketch. We need to split this sketch. Let's draw a construction line from the center to the center and then offset entities and we'll offset at 0 0.5 millimeter bi-directional and we want the base and the offset geometry for construction then we're going to trim entities and we want to take out that one millimeter section closed sketch is fully defined close our sketch next we add a plane and since our first sketch was on the top plane, we click top plane again. I have this down as a default of 100 millimeters. We click. So we have two planes, 100 millimeters apart. We're sketching on this plane, on our new plane, sketch. We will say another rectangle, keep it to the center so one lines over the other. And we will call this rectangle 250 millimeters. By 250 millimeters, we keep it square once again. Click. Once again, we have to split our rectangle. Zoom in, get our center. Chop it over to our endpoint. Close. Offset. Close. Trim. Trim on. Trim to. Close. Two sketches. Fully defined, both have a split. So I'm turning off my plane, just click on it, hide. Now we are going to sheet metal, loft bend. You need two profiles. One profile, two profile. Try and click your profiles as near as you can to the corresponding profile. So try and keep a, a fairly straight line in it. Everything else then we have lots of different options, but we're keeping it at a two mil sheet metal with a three mil radius and a 0.5K and we also just keep the rectangle auto really. There is your lofted bend. If we need to make this as a flat pattern, click the side, click flatten, and that's how that will look in a flat, flat pattern. Do our flat pattern. You can see we have a one mil bend line there. Sometimes if you're TIG welding, you'd want much less. This should be 0 0.5 either side, one mil in the middle. This has been another SOLIDWORKS feature in three minutes. Like and subscribe and check out my channel for other tips and tutorials. Till the next time.